Hi everyone, happy Saturday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Prism Premier League. The English Premier League, the EPL. Uh, two box, random club break number 17. All cards ship. There's all the teams right there involved in this break. Good luck and thank you to everyone here for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. There's all the teams right there again. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and clubs. Two and a six, eight times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. We got Darren down to Robert. All right, two and a six, eight times for the clubs. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and good luck. Eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Everton down to Arsenal. All right, so Darren with Everton, Taylor with Chelsea, Joseph with Burnley, Brian, we've got Liverpool, that's my club right there, and Brighton Hove Albion. Jens with Manchester United, Bernard uh, with Leicester City. Tyler with Tottenham, Jens with Newcastle, Joseph with Wolverhampton, Robert with the Sheffield United and West Bromwich Albion uh, dual or combo, West Ham United as well, Taylor with Aston Villa, Anthony with Crystal Palace Leeds, Robert with Fulham, Tyler with Southampton, Chad with Man City, and Robert with Arsenal. Trades are allowed if you would like. Let's sort this by column B. We'll give it a few moments. So break 17... Um, is the second to last break of this. Break 18 is the last two boxes from this case that we popped open. It's already sold out. So we don't have any more Prism Premier League soccer at the moment, but keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We will try to get some more. Um, also, we have uh, NT Soccer on the site. So if you want to scratch that soccer itch, I think it's just the second break of the fresh case of NT Soccer. I think we only did one. So if you want to go with that, that's there's some pretty nice stuff in there too. All right. Now it looks like it looks like Brian saying sorry, Chad. Haven't had Liverpool Liverpool yet. Looking for Chelsea or Arsenal for Liverpool, perhaps though. All right. I have no I have no idea why you can't draw Liverpool. I want you to draw Liverpool too. If I had any influence over this, I would I would rig it, but I can't rig it. <laughs> All right, trade window closed. Let's print and rip. There you go. So let's pop this open. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. All right, there you have it. A little bit of trade chatter, but no deals done. It's all good. Good luck. All right, see you, Brian.
Yeah, we've been pulling you some nice stuff, Robert. When it rains, it pours. Love it. Keep the hot streak going for as long as possible because we know that inevitably there'll be cold streaks. All right, good luck. Remember all card chips, everything you see here will go. And as, I, as I've been saying most breaks, it's worth taking a look at even some of the random commons, like where you don't think it's gonna be, you know, it doesn't look like it's a really famous player. It's still worth looking up. There's James McCarthy for Crystal Palace, that's for Anthony. Uh, Andre Gomez goes to Everton, that's for Darren. Because you'd be, you might be surprised at how well some of these commons may sell. And if you kind of hit upon a, a bigger name player, you know, like a Pogba, you know, that might be even more. Or this blue Curtis Jones, 173 out of 199 for my club, Liverpool. It's going to go to Brian with that one. Alex, what's up? So what are your thoughts about PA submission prices going up? Well... I mean, it's their prerogative. It's their, it's their business. It, guess what? It hasn't slowed down people coming in to drop off stuff for PSA submissions, that's for sure. So my, my advice is get in now before it goes up again. There's Nelson Semedo, Wolverhampton. That's for Joseph. And there's Lucas Fabianski, 2 out of 25 for West Ham United. That's for Robert. And behind Phil Foden is Eric Cantona. Wow. Gold Ink Auto. Pretty legendary Manchester United player going to Jens. Not only was he a, an excellent, prolific goal scorer, he also had an incident with a fan. <laughs> or he tried to, like, karate kick him. It's on YouTube. Look it up after this break. We only had a few Premier League matches today. Burnley and Arsenal drawing 1-1. Aubameyang had a goal early on. Southampton beat Sheffield 2-0. Aston Villa and Wolves finished 0-0. And uh, Leicester beat Brighton Hove Albion 2-1. Yeah, I agree. I think they are trying to. Ooh, nice gunman sewn silver. I think I th I think they are definitely, uh, you know, trying to eliminate people just or reduce people just submitting thousands of base cards just just to just to just to do it, you know. Okay, I see it, Sean. Thanks. Actually, let me just take care of that now before I forget. Hang on a second, folks. Sorry, I got to take care of this right now. All right, jamming me up, Sean. You should apologize to people in the soccer break here. All right. Moving on. There's Christian Pulisic. 
Bruno Fernandez playing some good soccer as well. There's Luka Milovojevic. Palace for Anthony. Nice Bruno Fernandez. But yeah, the demand for grading has, has, has increased so much. And I know that they're, they're backed up. So that, I, mean, I mean, in one way, they're, they're trying to raise prices to just kind of stave off demand a little bit, but it still hasn't worked. People are still submitting at record level. 67 out of 135. We've got Josh Brownhill for Burnley. So that speaks to the importance of grading, the strength of the hobby. There's Pablo Fornals. And I'm sure with the uh, with the profits they're making, I'm sure they're going to reinvest in making sure they can meet the demand. There's Mason Mount for Chelsea. Taylor with that one. Unfortunately, I'm sure it takes... I'm not sure what... I'd be interested to know what the training process would be to, be, to become a grader. It's not like you can just... It's not like a cashier where you can just it's like put a put a indeed.com job profile out, you know, out there and say, "Hey, wanted card grader." <laughs> and then just sign it up. I think I think the I think they and a lot of people in the hobby were just not prepared for just how big it got and how quickly quickly it got so big. There's Fulham, Craven Cottage. Silver for Robert. Charming. There's another Hyunmin Sun insert this time. I think the base ones generally sell the best, but for a player of his caliber, I'm sure these inserts will do pretty well as well. Tyler with Tottenham. We got Martin Dubrovka, and we got Tyreek Mitchell for Palace to Got Ian Poveda for Leeds, rookie silver. Going to Anthony and the uh, Chelsea or the Crystal Palace Leeds combo. Ooh, and nice Harry Kane, twelve out of ninety-nine. Nice Harry Kane for Tyler and Tottenham. The Hotspur is doing pretty well here. Great goal scorer, Harry Kane. Trent Alexander-Arnold. And Kyle Walker-Peters for Southampton. That'll be for Tyler as well. Trent going to uh, Brian. All right, next box. Sean's saying, if you had a team, you would totally try to collect the rainbows of which cards? The stadium cards? I think those stadium cards are pretty fun. Oh, there you go. Mark Fab sending some good stuff to TSA. Yeah, but I've got a feeling that people are sending just like, are just like blanket sending like a, a, a zillion things. Just hoping that one of them pops as a PSA without really kind of looking at the cards, which I think may have, may account for some of the, the backlog. But yeah, and you know, Alex, we have talked about this a bit in the past, it, uh, previously, where it's like, I wonder which third party, great, because right now it's just PSA and Beckett are the giants, right? But will there be a trusted, reliable third party grading service that will emerge? So, don't know. It'll get tricky, though. 
You know, because so much, I mean, this industry is built on, on trust, right? If there's one third-party grading service that maybe, if the word comes out that maybe they leaned a little too too much giving favorable grades to people who, you know what I mean? Dot, dot, dot. You know, I mean, that could, that could sink a third party grading service. So it's, it's gonna take a little bit to see which ones are the trusted ones, which ones have pretty accurate grades. You know, eventually I'm sure someone will experiment with, you know, We'll experiment with grading a card like Olivier Giroud for Chelsea, Taylor, you know, and then putting it through and cracking the case and putting it through a number of grading services and seeing what the similarities are, see how the secondary market, you know, reacts to it. There's Anthony Marshall to 135 for Yens and Man United. Looks like some of the guys in the chat are saying they they're liking they're liking what HGA is doing. There's Mikhail Antonio for West Ham. So yeah, so we'll we'll see. I think I think that's a kind of another exciting emerging part of the industry. And we got Kevin De Bruyne for Man City, 66 out of 199. They're just running away with it, Chad. Yeah, that's what uh, Alex was just saying. They have some sort of scanner computer that grades them, and, and Gary V saying that that maybe that he's leaning with HGA. Kaboom! Look at that. That's awesome. Rodrigo Moreno for La Leeds. Which is a pretty uh, a pretty classic sort of team. They've been around for a long time. Nice. Crystal Palace Leeds combo. Anthony with that one. Yeah, Sean Jaspi saying BGS and uh, and PSA also have computers or eyes to processing, but it's not the final word on grading just yet. Yeah, I think that's the other, that's the sort of holy grail that, that PSA and Beckett have been working on over the years. So a little more automation in the process, a little more accuracy on, on grading. So once that te technology happens, You know, then, then does that mean PSA and Beckett are back on top again? Putting HGA in the dust? There's Federico Fernandez, Newcastle, Silver, Jens. But I, I don't really lean either way on it. I mean, I'm, I'm just excited to see how, how it all develops and what if there, if there is a third party that emerges. Chris Wood scored a goal today. For Burnley, the equalizer in the 39th minute against Arsenal. Arsenal, another big club, kind of struggling a little bit lately. There is Musa Sissoko to 149. Washington football team is what that stands for, Steve Olson. Although Arsenal do have, here's Harry Kane again, Arsenal do have this emergent player right there, Bukayo Saka. That's for Arsenal, that's for Robert with that insert. I'm sure they'll start building 
around him. There's Mohamed Salah. My club needs to figure out their figure out goal scoring issues quickly. There's Mark Albrighton, 53 out of 199. Lester, that'll be for Bernard. Billy Gilmore is supposed to be a pretty big name. Here's Billy Sharp for the Blades to 49. That's not a bad idea too, Ben. Ben likes PSA for resale, going back to grading really quick, and um, HGA for your PC, just to protect the car. Yeah, that's a good idea. There's Billy Gilmore for Chelsea, and that'll be for Taylor. There's Aaron Cresswell for the Hammers. Robert. We got Bren uh, Pierrick. Three out of 99 for Palace. That'll be for Anthony. There's Hunman Son again. And I think I saw a little bit of silver sparkling in the back. Let's see if we get anything big here. Oh, right. We need the autograph, too. And it's for Lester, Dennis Prate. Foxes. Timo Werner for Chelsea. That's going to be for Taylor. And the autograph is going to be, hopefully a player I know. It's going to be Christian Pulisic. I do know this player. The American Christian Pulisic, our hope for uh, American soccer success, ladies and gentlemen. This goes to Chelsea Taylor with that one. Sign your cards, Chris. Come on. All right, nice. There you go. And there you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Random Club Break number 17. I'll see you next time for another one. Bye-bye.